So guys, I have created a monster in the first descendant. Today I showcase to you my ultimate Tema weapon build. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now I'm guessing you've all seen the 500k Tamer DPS weapon builds. I've seen numerous videos posted on this. I believe Moxie was the original uh, and people have just basically just copy and pasted his build. I wanted to try something completely different and that's what I did. I um, took a risk and in my opinion it definitely paid off. And today guys I showcased you my Tamer. It is a little wild, it does need taming, no pun intended, but it is a monster. So the weapon, let's see right here. So it's a level 100, a level 40 net proficiency, and consider the roll I have on it. We have firearm attack of a 10.8%, rounds per magazine of 9.9%, a firearm critical hit rate of 14.1%. This is low to be honest, it's lower standard as well, it's not great for that, I'm not going to lie. And a weak point damage of 11.4%. You see my DPS is 160k and my firearm attack is 17, uh, well 17,631 as standard. Now checking out the mods, and what I will say is, I built this weapon around a single mod and I believe it's paid off, it's wild. People are going to be thinking, what have you done here? But you'll see it in a second. So you can see my applied value, you have a 260k DPS, but this drastically rises. Um, but if you can see my weak point damage is a 35%, my rounds per mag is basically 50%, my firearm attack is a um, 94% and my fire rate is minus 25%. So the mod I built this around is a mod I've seen no one else even talk about, never mind use on the Tamer. I saw a Reddit post on it about a week ago, people saying it was bugged and not to use it. Mine works completely fine, I don't know what the problem is yours. But the mod is the Sharp Precision Shot. What this does is it slows down the weapon's fire rate by 20%, but while pulling that trigger, your fire rate increases by plus 4%. The recoil drops by a minus 5%, that's where the weapon gets a bit wild and needs to be tamed. But we also get a plus 6% on that firearm attack and this happens every 0.5 seconds and stacks up to 10 times. So basically guys, after 5 seconds when you fully max out this module, we get a plus 40% fire rate, which is 20 over base. And we get a plus 60% firearm attack badness. Now I've also paired this mod with it right here slow art this gives me a plus 62 percent firearm attack when fully maxed out but it drops its fire rate by a minus 25 percent so when this is fully kicking guys i'm basically only at, i think i believe minus five percent fire rate in total because this adds 40 uh, which is 20 over base this takes away 25 which will take it back down to i believe minus five percent but that's completely fine because i've also added in the rounds per magazine of plus 49% and because I got the um, the stat based stat on it of a plus, what was it? A 9.9, .9, I get 156 or 158 bullets in the mag. So with this, that and that, it equals to me having the stacks that this gives to over 105 bullets that I can fire in this uh, weapon, which is unbelievable. I've also added rifling reinforcement, uh, fully maxed out with a plus 32% in that firearm attack and at weak point sight of a plus 35%. Now what I will say is as well guys, this is my everyday tamer. I use it for bosses, I use it for, it's basically my, every, it's always on my back, it don't get changed. So I'm using it in all scenarios the game offers. Now you can change whatever you want, it's completely up to you, but I'm loving the way I have this weapon. I could also make this even better guys by adding in and assign module socket, which I thought about doing. I'd probably add in this right here because this is for the um, same icon as the well, the two wep ones I would never take off the weapon. And this will reduce their cost to half, I believe. So it will give me what another eight in regards to um, capacity I could use here. And I could add in another mod, which I, I probably will do. The only problem is with this is it resets the weapon's efficiency, which I'm not keen on. To be honest so like so if i did this and add it there you can see guys it resets it so yeah it's the only reason i haven't done it but it is what it is i could make this even better so i'm going to showcase you exactly how this works and it actually really surprised me so we're just going to go into the uh, firing range just like so people so yeah i actually thought when using this um this module that if i missed a shot then it resets the stacks 
I'm happy to confirm that it isn't the case. It doesn't work like that. So I'm just loading a few uh, enemies here. So let me just get some ammo and I'll show you exactly what I mean with this weapon. My baby. So it's got 158 in the mag. So we can see guys. What an M system Madden's game. So my body shot damage is 24,000. So it's going up. Let's just, it's because I think it's the type of enemy here. So you can see my uh, body shot damage starts at 24,000. I'm just going to round off these numbers. And you can see max is at 30,000. Fair enough. But I thought if I miss the target, then that resets. It actually don't. And you can see here, guys. So if I shoot this way, I'd set about 115 bullets left in the mag. And five seconds are up. And that's at fully maxed out. And if I go straight to the body, see, guys, I'm doing that 30,000. If I miss the target, come back. 30,000. This, it mean it's weak point. It don't matter. Uh, headshots, crit shots, whatever. The damage doesn't drop unless you start pressing that trigger. So as long as you're holding down that trigger, it always it keeps its stacks, which is utterly unbelievable. It's actually something I didn't think would work. So I'm happy with that. I really am. So yeah, sharp precision shot is a module. I'm thinking people are just overlooking, especially on the tamer. But hey, that is just my opinion yours may differ um, i may have made something here you completely hate and you prefer moxie's build which is completely fine i'm not even going to try and compare or say this is better than that uh, i think my deep my dps definitely goes up uh, in regards to this and a plus 60 percent i don't know if the plus 60 percent is overall on this or just overall a stat value on 160k i'm not sure that's something I ain't that good at maths, I can't really work it out, people, but yeah, all I know is I've built an absolute monster of a weapon. The perk is better than what I originally thought it was going to be. And, and actually, guys, you know what? I've actually hit 80k crit shots. Now, again, crit shots don't come into effect when I say weak punch shots. They got 85k. So yeah, and that fully stacked out 95k. So you can probably hit 100k crit shots here. So not bad at all. And again, with all these mods, um, with the 10 stacks, fully active, I'm only at a minus 5% fire rate. So that's pretty cool. So again, we can switch between targets. As long as you're holding down that trigger, guys, it makes no difference. It makes no difference. Switch targets. As long as you don't stop firing like that, the stacks never end, which is amazing. Now, what I will say is as well, guys, I, um, I re reviewed this weapon a few times, which if you don't know how, you surely you know how to do it. I'm sure you know how to do that. So you want to come here. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so the workbench. That's what it's called. The workbench. What am I talking about? So the weapon readjustment. So what I did was, guys, I rewrote this about four times. I wanted firearm attack and I wanted, especially wanted rounds per mag and I wanted that weak point damage. Some of these could have been on here when I got the weapon. I can't really remember. Um, but I kept re-rolling rounds per magazine because I wanted extra bullets in my mag, obviously, to obviously get more stacks to last longer in my module that this weapon's brought around. But if I was to re-roll this again, I'd probably change out this one right here and try and get something different. But that is just completely down to you. I mean, to re-roll this weapon, it's quite expensive in regards to materials needed, especially when it comes to locking things. So yeah, I could re-roll the weapon, easy. it take one of these but i'd reroll the entire thing which is not what i want to do but yeah that's exactly what i did guys i'm quite happy with what i got here i'm not gonna lie to you so yes yeah, so that is my ultimate tamer build i'm absolutely loving it i'm not gonna lie to you like i said it's my everyday weapon i may like i said add in the uh, module socket type and add it into it if i do that i'll bring you an updated video on it but there we have it, guys, for my ultimate tamer build. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.